Today, we're going to talk about the Chessbase online database that you get with the Chessbase account under their premium services. Now, before we take a look at everything inside of Chessbase, let's quickly go to the Chessbase website. Here, as you can see in the list of all the different packages of Chessbase, even if you go to the cheapest version, which is just a Chessbase program only, you see live database is checked for each individual package. Now, if you see live database here is accessed via the premium Chessbase account and each package comes with some of time of the Chessbase, Chessbase account. You can see here Chessbase 17 comes with three months of premium. This is a very big deal. So let me show you why this is a big deal. All right, so we go here to the Chessbase account and let's just do a quick comparison of the uh, of the different ones. Starter pack, there's a lot of different features in these packages here that um, you can use, um, but let's just compare the starter and the premium for the live database. If we see the starter here for the live database versus the premium, there's two things, but one in particular that makes the live database the huge advantage is that first of all, you get access to the live book. Second of all, you get to download PGNs. This is gonna make, this is where the power comes in at, meaning that you can build your own database. So let's go ahead over here to the live database uh, landing page here and, um, what we'll do is we'll go see what Daniel King has to say about this. So this video right here, we're gonna watch just the first 36 seconds of it. The Live Database is the fastest chess database in the world with online access to eight million games. Lightning fast database architecture returns search results for players or positions in a matter of milliseconds. Thanks to weekly updates of approximately 5,000 games, the database is always up to date. On top of that, the app is linked to the Chessbase Livebook, the most complete and actively updated source of opening theory available online. All right, so there we have it. If you get just a program only or buy into the Chessbase premium account, you get access to this live database. And so let's go, let me go show you how to use it and how you can use it inside of the actual chess base 17 software as well. So we go to live database. All right, this here was some searching stuff that I did earlier. So let's go ahead and clear this out where it says board. Let's go ahead and restart this over. So say if we wanted to just say search uh, Kasparov, just, I mean, I guess he's a good player. <laughs> that's that's a joke obviously but still um 1990 as we can see it returns game from castle robin 1990 just like that in the snap of a finger and you have an opening book over here you have engine analysis over here you can add lines to engine analysis over here and you can also remove these lines as well now and that's not all you can actually download these games by the pgm and see if you go here highlight the game hit pgn download as you can see in the bottom left corner, it downloaded that game. Now, also you can search by the board here. Now let's, um, let's reset the board. And I'm gonna play F4. And as you can see, um, oh, that's right. Let me make sure everything clicked here. Let me go to the board here. Yeah. All right, so as we can see, this is a, a thousand games because again that's one limitation of this database it only returns a thousand games at a time but still you can still search this database however you want all right so if you look at the first game this is uh rapport versus tari in the ftx road to miami prelims okay we can quickly just play through some moves in this game and we and and you can download this game just the same go back hit pgn download uh let me close this bottom window here it downloads the PGN, but watch this and it adds it. And, and in some cases it added straight to um, data, um, chess base, but watch this. Let's go back out of here. Now, if you go inside of chess base 17, you see right here, you see on search games online. 
Okay, if you click this, you can actually access the database from the online database straight from Chessbase without having mega database or any database installed and create your own database. So if you click online, I'm gonna just go ahead and hit reset. Let's type Kasparov Linares. I find that if you just reset every time, no matter if something's already typed in there, it just everything just works a lot smoother. You hit okay. And what happens is that we can, I'm gonna sort these by the year. And there you have it. All of Gary Kasparov's 168 games from 1990, all the way to 2005, his games when he played in Linares. I'm pretty sure this small database here is a spectacular treasure trove. And I'm gonna act, act in fact, I'm gonna download this database myself. So let me close this out. Let me show you something else. Now we go, let's open up a board like normal. All right, and we go over here to view. And we go to online database, click it right here. This pops up and, and again, it's just popping up this populating like a thousand games and probably the most recent, obviously very high level games. But watch this. Remember a while ago when I played E4 on the board, who was the first game? It was Rapport and Tari. So at the um, FTX road to Miami prelim. So it basically, I'm, I'm showing you this to say that you can do a board search and search everything right here in chess space here with the online database, just like you can, in my opinion, even better than going to the actual live database website. But if you're a premium member, you can do it however you want. All right. So now let's go back. Let's just say, and I'm about to actually make this database. If I want to, let me hit, I always hit reset. I, I recommend doing that. Kasparov Linares. Let's do a search and uh, up. Pops his games. Uh, just do, hold up, hit the window just a little. Just just change uh pattern here a little bit. We can fix that real quick. All right, so here's all the games. I'm gonna resort them by year again. 1990. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna highlight one. I'm gonna hit Control A, and then I'm gonna hit Control C, and I'm gonna copy that database. And watch this. I'm gonna go to File, New, Database, and I'm gonna say. Kasparov Linares. Linares. And this is in the new database format of 2CBH. I'm going to hit create new. Now I'm simply going to um, touch this database. And you see up here in the top left, you see paste. You can click that or you can hit control V, which is the universal for paste. So we're just going to go ahead and click paste here. And it's going to ask me, do I want to copy the 168 games from Chessbase Online? And I'm going to say yes. And once it copies the game, everything is going pretty fast. There you have it. Now watch this. Now remember a while ago, let me show you this. One thing I didn't show you. Now watch this. Let's go back to online search. If we hit advance. This is all the kind of the search options you get if you just search online. Okay. But now since it's in Chessbase, you can now actually, um, if you hit search, up pops the actual interactive, the new interactive search function where you can search this database or any database you create. And even if you hit the advanced in window, you get the very advanced game search window that goes through game data, annotations, positions, medals, material, maneuvers, and attacks. So there you have it. That's how you create a database from the online version of Chessbase's database. You need a Chessbase premium account active and you need, in fact, I will just say this. If you buy Chessbase 17, yes, you're going to get three months um, access, but however, you can still buy Chessbase premium and download PGNs and use them in whatever program you'd like. But again, the power of Chessbase pet, Fast 17 should be evident here just what you can do with this program and the online database.